Jacob Smith and comedian Ricky Velez are going to be out here in just a moment. But first, folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time on the stage at the Ed Sullivan, painstakingly sifting through the news mines to source the most topical rough story stones, which I clean, saw, and shape upon my jeweler's tang to leave a precise 36.1 degree crown angle and a 46% pavilion depth to create for you the exquisite 58 facet princess cut diamond that is my nightly monologue, but sometimes, just sometimes, folks. I crawl through the dumpster of a TJ Maxx for a tetanus-soaked pile of glass shards, which I smush together with crazy glue and barbed wire to make the deranged gem of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. That'll cure me right there. That's as good as a vaccination right there, the meanwhile. Meanwhile. In trash news, New York City will phase out black garbage bags which means New Yorkers' only remaining option is to continue hurling their garbage everywhere else. Mayor Eric Adams announced that starting next fall, small residential buildings must put their trash in secure wheeled containers, or as they'll soon be called, portable rat cafes. Meanwhile, Taylor Swift has inspired a new Heinz sauce. I hope it's better than the last pop star-inspired condiment, Bruno Marstard. I really wish there was an audience here because the thunderous applause for that joke really would have made me feel better. A couple of weeks ago, a photo of Tay-Tay at a Kansas City Chiefs game went viral with the caption, Taylor Swift was eating a piece of chicken with ketchup and seemingly ranch. And now Heinz is releasing Heinz ketchup and seemingly ranch. Now, don't be too concerned by the word seemingly. It's the perfect condiment to go with Purdue's chicken as far as you know. Meanwhile, according to new research, ice cream and potato chips are just as addictive as cocaine, which is why for dessert, doctors recommend no more than one scoop of crack. Mars starred. Meanwhile, in animal news, female frogs fake their own death to avoid unwanted attention from males. Also the preferred tactic of human women when their Tinder date starts talking about their podcast. By the way, ladies, I have a podcast. Apparently, during mating season, competition for female attention can get chaotic. And so the lady Phibians engage in what scientists call tonic immobility. Coincidentally, when I get out of this room tonight, I will engage in what scientists call gin and tonic paralysis. Meanwhile, in news that, of course, happened in Canada, a bear walked into a gas station and stole a bag of gummy bears. But that's cannibalism. Everyone knows bears are only supposed to eat fish. And I'm being told, again, by no one here, that we have footage of the incident. Finally, he appeared to find exactly what he was looking for. And there's a bunch of candies down here. And he took the 70 cent bag of gummy bears. Wait, wait a second. J J Jimmy, fr freeze that image. Can I, can I see that again? What, what is that in the lower left-hand corner? Is, is the bear conducting the interview, and is he very happy to see her? So, you, you say he took gummy bears? From where he take gummy bears? Like, can you show me where they are? Also, does this gas station have live salmon? Meanwhile, that was my bear. Meanwhile, Best Buy will soon stop selling DVDs. For my younger viewers, a DVD is like a coaster that plays Shrek. Oh, you touched it? Now it no longer works. But don't you worry. Best Buy remains the number one place in America to go when you need to find a dozen dads watching Blue Planet on 17 TVs at once. The move by Best Buy means that Walmart now controls 45% of the market for DVDs. You can find them between the fax machines and the sextants. Meanwhile. In old TV show news, streaming numbers for the show Suits have been so successful that a new show is being planned, and many have attributed the renewed popularity of the show to it featuring Meghan Markle before she married Prince Harry. It's the same bump that occurred when people remembered Princess Diana played a drug lord in Miami Vice. We'll be right back with Jada Pinkett Smith. 